Hello and welcome back to Valheim. Right, I have some updates. I've been doing a little bit of work off camera and uh, made a few changes around the place. I've um, got a new chest here with some valuables in because I've been raiding, I think, two tombs so far. Plus, I dug up a stone boat and that's where I got this uh, lovely silver necklace. Uh, so we're making some money here. Need to find the uh, trader. I haven't done much of uh, much much of searching for the trader yet, but uh, we'll get there eventually. We now have comfort seven in here because we've got the stool. Uh, we get the rusty bonus from the fire. We have the tree uh, rug on the floor. I'm not sure what else contributes to rested bonus, but we're doing well. We're getting uh, 14 minutes now, so that's pretty good. Food-wise, we are doing pretty well. Got a lot of raw and cooked food, a lot of mushrooms and honey. Uh, some hide trophies. You'll see there's a tro troll trophy in there. And she should be able to spot that I am now wearing some gear. Uh, I now have the tunic, pants and the helmet. Just need two more trolls for the deer hide cape. And we managed to um, pick up a couple of trolls over in this area here. And um, I was looking at a couple of burial chambers. No, I think it was this one, actually. And um, yeah, there was a troll. I killed it. Walked a few yards after after killing the uh, the first one. Ran into a second one. So great area for picking up trolls here. And you'll notice I have a, a copper deposit marked work in progress. So we're going to go back to that today. I have picked up a bit of copper. And that means that we have some resources in order to be able to build the forge. Um, I think I've put them to one side. Let me see where I put them. Are these them here? I think these are them here. Let me grab those out of the inventory. Awesome. Right. So we want to craft this, the, the forge. Um, outside, I'll show you in a second, we have the smelter and the charcoal kiln as well. So we've got that going. Uh, but we'll pop this down here. And that's given us new recipes. Oh, we can build the cauldron. Oh, that's something I want to do quite soon if we can. But first of all, I actually want to build the axe. I don't know if we've got enough materials. Um, looks like we've got to make bronze first. Right, okay. Yeah, we've got some materials here. Five and seven. What was the recipe for bronze? We need ten and five. Okay. Right, let me show you outside first of all then. I've done some work. Uh, we have completely landscaped the area. I'll just show you around quickly. Here is the uh, charcoal smelter with an awful lot of charcoal. Yep, yeah, we're doing pretty well. I'm going to fill that back up again. Just because it takes so long to process this wood. And we've got the uh, the cores and everything needed from the couple of burial chambers that we raided, so that was good. And we got this, the forge, or the smelter. Uh, we've got nothing in it at the moment, so we need to go and get some copper today. So, let me show you around. We've completely landscaped the area and built up a couple of um, earth walls here. By the back of the house but all the way around we now have a moat and it actually didn't take too long to do um, i think it's absolutely essential and it's nice and straight so i'm pretty pleased with what we've managed to do oh there's a deer stuck down there and it goes all the way around and I, uh, I kind of leveled this area here where the ravine starts. We've got a nice couple of trees here. 
and that gives them somewhere if anybody falls or anything falls into the the moat they can actually walk all the way around and get down onto this level here goes all the way that way nice and built up and they can actually then climb out and come round here so we can fight them at a distance at our leisure so really really pleased with this and as i say it really didn't take too long to do so landscaping wise i think this this massive area we've got marked out here now this is where i'm going to concentrate on building ideally i'd love to incorporate this maypole it's lovely looking into the build but <laughs> I don't honestly know how to do it. I might make this like a, a, a bedroom area. It's quite close to the walls there. That's my only concern. Wish you could move it. Uh, I might make this a raised area for the bedroom and then have some stairs going down here into, you know, like the dining area and the workshop. So we're going to need a, an awful lot of space for everything that you can uh, you can build. But we've got all the beehives in a lovely arc all the way around and they are all happy and they all do um, generate four honey which I should really go around and collect uh, we'll just do that very quickly before we head out we've got so much honey now but I know it's it's necessary for later in the game so we've got so many bees and I actually quite like them down here on the floor. The general consensus seems to be not to put them on the floor, but they uh, they seem pretty happy. Yeah, look at all this honey we've got. Right, okay, well I'm going to eat and I think we're going to have to head over to that work in progress copper node that we've got and uh, go and do a little bit of mining, which is fine, we need to get it done. Let me just uh, look at that grayling up there. We need to get it done. And the sooner we get over there and uh, get some resources, the sooner we can get a much better axe on the go, which is really going to help out. I've got some uh, wood stashed here, ready for the build. Not that much really, but we're going to need more than that. But it should help. And these guys are so confused by this mode. Right, let's head over to the copper deposit. I have two pickaxes. Oh, I've got one coal on me. Let me make sure I don't jump off there because it's uh, pretty lethal. Whoa, jump back up. Wait, come on. Oh, no, I don't want to jump in the hole. It really is quite painful to jump down there. Right, okay, let's have a look at the map and I'll ping my location. That's where I want to go. Yep, so it's right over in this direction. I'm going to head towards my forward operating base, the little camp symbol on the map in the corner there. And uh, what we've already done is a lot of work on this build, on this uh, copper node, to dig it out. So here's our base. So it shouldn't be too long. I can actually repair my stuff. I forgot to do that. Uh, let me drop off that. And uh, yeah, let's mark a ping on this deposit. It's not far, and uh, we'll head over there and start mining. I'm not hearing any trolls right now. But to be honest, I would not be unhappy if one decides to turn up today. So we've got a couple of copper deposits here. It's, it's pretty awesome. I think the one we've been working on is this one up here. Yeah, here we are. So I've pretty much dug it out all the way around. Let's jump. What have we got nearby? Did that sound like something? Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? 
Let's go and kill this thing because it's only going to bother us otherwise. Where are you? Okay, there's a deer. Oh, there's a skelly. There you go, dear. I saved your life. So there must be a um, burial chamber nearby. Looking for big rock formations, really. No, I'm not sure. Can't see anything. Oh, I do need these blueberries. Start gathering these. I think I've got a few. Oh, here we are. I think this must be it here. I think I'm going to chop this tree out of the way. There we go. Have I been in this one? I don't think I have. Right, let's mark this one down then. And that's one we can definitely come back and raid. I'm going to need some more cores for portals and stuff. But for now, I want to do some copper mining here. Is our progress so far as you can see. I just need to start breaking this stuff now, I think. Yeah, I might start with this little bit here. Unfortunately, I can't completely undermine it because of... And I'm probably going to fall down here. Uh, it's actually bedrock underneath me. So, uh, whoops. Stand back a bit, woman. It's actually making me fall into the rock here. There we go. We've got the copper now. There we go. Right, we did fall and take a bit of damage. That's okay. We got a bit of copper there. Right, I'm just going to start whacking away at this uh, copper. And uh, we'll try and dig underneath. And see if we can bring the rest of it down and on the, into this pit. Shouldn't take too long. I've got two pickaxes on me and I can repair stuff nearby. So I will see you if anything happens. Right, okay, welcome back. We've made a bit of progress here. I do have 15 copper on me. Obviously, we're going to come back and get a lot more. But this is getting a little awkward now. And uh, there's not an awful lot of uh, stone that I can clear out. So it's going to have to be all of this copper I'm going to have to destroy. So I think what I might do is it's getting dark. I'm going to run this back to base. Uh, get this in the smelter, get rested, and uh, we'll come back and uh, finish that off another time, probably tomorrow. Maybe one of the tr uh, trolls may have respawned back in. Ooh, mushrooms, we'll have those. Uh, we're going to need that if there's a ball right in front of me, aren't we? Yeah, let's get this ball. Oh, there's another mushroom. I knew there'd be a couple more around me. Yeah, it's getting dark and uh, I really... There we go. Carrying too much. Are you kidding? Really? That's amazing. Oh, I can drop this stone. That's fine. Well, good morning. It's the next day. Day 59. Just shows how long all of this stuff takes. Uh, we've got everything repaired. I do need to eat very quickly. And we should have all our smelted uh, copper out here. I think almost all of it should be done. Yeah, we need some coal in there and the rest of this. Get that going. We might need that last one. Okay, there we go. That's good. Uh, so we've got nine with us right now. Let's go and see what we have in the uh, box in here trying to remember which chest here we are right we've got everything on us now what do we need we probably need to make bronze don't we bronze times five um okay 
I can't craft anything else with this amount, so I'm just going to make one lot of bronze. And hopefully I didn't do the wrong thing there. Okay, bronze axe, that's what I wanted unlocked, and also the cultivator. Wow, loads of stuff now. And the fermenter as well. Okay, awesome. Right, so what do we need to make a bronze axe? We need eight bronze. We have five bronze. We need tin and some more copper. Uh, we can make two more and we've got five. Yes, yeah, so we can't make that the, the expensive way anyway. We, we're just one short, I think. One tin short. Now, I do have some tin marked on the map. So, let me put that away. And that. And we are going to have to head out and do that last bit of mining, I think. Which is fine. We need to do that anyway. Uh, but on the map over here, I did find some tin. So, this is the um, work in progress copper that we need to just finish off. But while we're in this area, we'll, we'll go and see if we can get this bit of tin that I found. Otherwise, we're going to have to just run down to the coast down here, which means opening up this bit of the map. Which isn't going to be a problem. That's fine. Yeah, so uh, good plan of action today. Let's head out. I can't wait to get the axe so that we can get core wood. And uh, obviously get some building done. We've got this lovely area cleared, cleared out now. And uh, I am absolutely desperate to start building in it. It's perfect. I've put workbenches all the way around, by the way, to stop spawns. Um, of creatures and stuff. So um, that should be good. Uh, but yeah, we need to just head back over that way now. Oh, we need to fill up the uh, resin torches that we've got around the place. That also stops spoons, apparently. Anyway, let's uh, let's run over to the copper deposit and get to work. Right, okay, we are approaching the deposit. I am hearing a few graylings around and about. Let me see. Let me see if I can see any of them. No, they're mainly in the woods, which is pretty good. Oh, yes, here we are. I, I need to also pick up a lot of the um, stone that I've left in here as well. We've got an awful lot of stone lying around the place. Um, right, I think I'm going to carry on digging under here. I think this is probably going to be the easiest. Um, probably take that bit out and this bit here. Takes a while. We've got a couple of uh, pickaxes on us though. Yeah, that broke pretty easily, didn't it? Let's take this stone out. And we've got another bit of copper here. So it's very fragmented, this deposit. It's all over the place. And I'm throwing away the stone. We haven't actually picked up any copper yet kind of upsetting after all this work okay I'm trying to undermine it because obviously if you can get it all to collapse from above it's much easier but it's uh, not really working I guess it depends on the location. Let me make sure I've eaten everything I can. Just take a, a break for a second, get my stamina back. Yeah, it's completely and utterly locked into this uh, bedrock, unfortunately, this, this deposit. I will clear out as much as I can and we'll see if we can get some of it to collapse. Gotta take that bit out. It's an amazing collection of triangles.
very odd deposit. I'm not hearing any trolls, unfortunately. I wouldn't mind seeing one right now. I'd love to get this um, troll hide cape done. I think we might need to look in a different area. want that bit yep okay well that's all the stone that i can really get to the rest of this is just copper what a mess very unusual deposit isn't it that's a rock that's not touching anything what can i cut away here that might cause it to fall maybe this bit here Okay, are we picking up any? We've got two so far. It's a bit of an anticlimax, isn't it, this? I think I managed to break some stone there. Okay, that was pretty good. That was a good break. Just making sure there's nothing within touching distance. Let me eat another one of these mushrooms. Okay, I'm working my way around this very slowly. We'll get there. Got another pickaxe, don't forget. And it's nice and early in the day. Bringing you along for this bit. Just so you can see just how interesting it is. Trying to get these things to fall. Oh, right, okay, that pickaxe broke. Yep, not going to get very far punching. Let's work down here. Doing some decent damage with this. Oh, nice, we've uncovered some stone there we can get to. I've got some copper there. Can I get underneath this? I'd love to get underneath here and just mine this bit of stone away, really. I think it's hitting the copper above me, though. Let's get some stone in the back, make sure that I can't eat anything. Probably the worst place to stand. Okay. Yep, yeah, we're getting we're getting somewhere, I think, very slowly. Oh, look at all the that. That's gonna be so satisfying when it breaks. Get that rock. Let's get this rock here too. There's lines of um bedrock. And you kinda of hit them and you can't do anything else with them. Okay, let's get some stem. This is going to be fab when it uh, falls. Uh, we're good for carry, carry weight at the minute. Might have to run and uh, repair this pickaxe before the end. Well, this is looking better. We just keep on covering more and more. It's an amazing deposit. I'm listening, making sure we're not getting crept up on by anything as well. Get rid of that. It's very misty right now. It's difficult to see. Is it raining? Not sure if it's raining or just misting. It's just misty in the uh, in the hole here. Wow, that's incredible. I reckon this is probably the best area now to concentrate on. Is that some copper there? No, some stone. I've only got nine so far. Not much left on this pick either.
I am going to have to go and repair. Yep. Okay. Let's get out of here. This is going to be so satisfying. I can remember the way out. I think it's this way. This is going to be so satisfying to, uh, to take down. Right. There's our base. Let's go and do a couple of pickaxe repairs. I'm so glad I uh, crafted all this stuff at this base here. So much better than running all the way back home. Okay, here we are. Very close. Get a nice bonus in here as well. We may as well sit and get our rusty bonus, actually. Let's put the stone in here. Bit of resin. I guess we could leave that here. Because we're going to have a lot, aren't we? And we're going to come back here. Wait, let's have a... Oh, we've got 12 minutes rested anyway. Nope, we're fine. Let's go. Make make best use of the day. So, ping it again. Oh, blimey. I would have gone left out of that building. <laughs> Not this way. Amazing. Now all we need is a troll to appear, don't we? We've been left alone for a, a pretty good long time, actually. Is it up here? This is it here, isn't it? I'm getting used to it now. Okay, let's work out where is going to be best to hit this. I think this little bit here might be the... Well, no, we've got this bit here too. Okay, um, let's work on this. Can you get killed by a uh, fall-in deposit? Bet you can. Uh, I'll uh, hit it from this side. I was going to say, what's above me? Yeah, there's quite a bit above me. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, just this bit of stone in the middle now. Oh my god, look at that! One tiny, tiny bit, and I think that bit on the left might be... Might be holding it. Ready? Oh my god. What is holding this thing up now? Okay, there must be something. Let's look around. Take the edges away so there's no chance of these holding things up. There's a tree. Take that back. Okay, that's all free. That's free. I think I'm going to have to jump up onto it and break it from above. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to have to do. Uh, we're very close to our weight limit again. Okay, let's get back up and have a look around. So uh, this is ready to uh, this is ready to break. Definitely. Do I want to risk jumping onto this and, and giving it a good? I guess this is the only thing I can do. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is such a bad idea. My pickaxe is going to break. Yeah, I see some copper down there. Um, okay. Can't eat any more of that stuff. Let's break just one more piece. Oh, God. Did that not... I didn't reselect the button, did I? Okay, stand back a bit. Oh, we're so lucky we didn't fall there. Wow. Right, let's hop down here. We'll just pick up what we can. Copper ore, copper ore. Let's throw the stone away. Any more? No more? 
What can we hit from here? We could hit this. And of course I am going to want to look for that tin. Can I not pick you up? I can pick you up. Right, we've got 20. That is enough for me for today. We will come back here. Next uh, outing, we are going to have to go and grab that tin. So, okay, good morning again. We are back. We have smelted all of that copper. I think most of it at least. Let me see. Yeah, I've got another 10 in here. Let me drop that in the smelter. Now we're going to have to run out and try and find some um, tin. That's what we need now. We've got a little bit marked on the map, but we might have to run down to the coast and uh, look for that along the edge of the dark forest. So, um, at least we have a plan. We've got 20. Yeah, if we could get a good batch of tin, come back and get some, some more bronze made and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be in really good position. Uh, we're good for food and stamina stuff. Yeah, I am going to head over in the direction of this marker that I, uh, I've got marked down here. It might be better to run all the way across here to this coast because there will definitely be an awful lot of tin there but just because this is on the way we'll go for this piece of tin that I saw but also look out for this troll there might be some water here we haven't unlocked the map so that's again over in that direction so let's run that way we haven't had any problems overnight since we uh, built this moat it's been incredibly quiet around here which is awesome right, let me just mark that again right up that way this time okay okay we are almost on the edge of the black forest i don't understand why i saw tin in this area but i'm pretty sure i did i i marked it at least yeah there's a the troll we have a troll. I am going to try and take this troll down and uh, we'll be halfway towards our cape. Where is the thing? Where are you troll? I think he sounds like he's over this way doesn't he? I need to see him. There he is, yes. Good. He's gone through the trees there. I wonder if we might hit, hit him from here. Let's see. He moved. He is on fire. Let's get a couple of shots on him. Yeah, I am uh, a little braver than I used to be with trolls, i got to say. Just a little bit. We'll keep him on fire if we can. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. Okay. Press the wrong button there. Yeah, we'll run. Oh, that's all we need is a couple of those guys. Okay, let's keep him on fire. Yeah, we've got to take him down if we can. Stamina. Okay, run please, run please. Yeah, I need to get my health back now. We'll be fine if we just keep a bit of distance, we'll recover that health. We can't eat right now, unfortunately. I need to eat that mushroom. Oh, there's some mushrooms here, lovely. Yeah, he's still throwing things at me. Let's bring him out into the daylight a little bit. They don't like that, do they, apparently? Let's get a bit of distance. I'm going to eat that mushroom. Right. Get him on fire. 
I'm not aiming high enough for the headshots. Seems to struggle running sideways, doesn't he, I think? Gonna run him around a little bit. Oh, I've completely forgot where that tin is, by the way. Should be able to get a couple of shots here if we had stamina. Nope, we don't. Oh, stamina, come back. There we go. Okay, let's grab troll hide. We need another five after this. And also the coins are awesome. Uh, 24 coins. Okay, that's pretty good. Right, okay. Let's find this tin. Where the hell was it? Uh, tin. Yeah, I definitely saw it on the floor when we were there, so... Let me get that out and my shield. Because there were a couple of Graylins running around in the way. I think it was down here. I think it's only one piece, unfortunately. So is it this, this area here? Down here? Let me look on the map. Tin. Yeah, we're right on where I marked it. Not that bit. It's this bit here. Yeah, look, tin deposit. And why would that be just in the middle of the forest? It's normally around the coast. Well, we'll grab it. Awesome. So now I need to really find the coast. I think we'll head straight forwards. We've got a tree down here. Is that a pine? Do I want to grab that? Because that will give me some cool wood, won't it? I mean, I know we can chop this down anyway. And we'll want some of those thistles as well. I've not really explored any further than the couple of... Um, Copper deposits that I found initially. We'll have to do a good run through the forests. But if I can find those mushrooms again, I think they're over here. Hi. Yep. I want these mushrooms. Sorry, fella. There must be a spawn round here. Yeah. Okay, let's get that out just in case. Because this is a level one, you know, and they can be a bit tricky sometimes. I have the mushroom. Mushroom there. <laughs> I don't know if there are any more. I'm pretty happy with that though. Let's go a bit further this way. This is where they're all coming from, so I'm wondering if there's a spawner down here. Yeah, there it is. Am I up for taking that out? I could do. It's kind of... kind of tricky sometimes. You get a bit overwhelmed, but if there's only one guy there... we should be good. There's usually a brute, isn't there? A shaman. He's poisoning me. Well, I've taken him out. I am going to just back away for a second, get my uh, health sorted. And we've got a couple of blueberries there and the rest of the nest to just destroy and pick up uh, whatever fell. There should be an ancient seed amongst all of this. Let's take the rest of this out. I don't know if it respawns if you don't do that. So we'll take it out just to be sure. Nice, good. Well, that's a spawner. First one we've run across in this single player game, at least. Right, let's uh, try and just sort of head into this area. And if we don't see anything interesting, at least we're heading towards the coast. 
there is a troll cave here. Well, that is interesting. Can I not pick any of this up? Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, that's cool wood. I don't want that wood. I'm not going to risk picking anything else up. But I want the bones for sure. Right, let's mark this down because we'll come back and raid this. There might be um, treasure inside. There might be a troll. Uh, but that might be the one we took out. Yeah. I mean, we could have a quick look. Um, We could have a quick look. We can sneak. There might be one in here. There is. I'm not going to take him on now. But we know we can come back and we can get the other hide that we're looking for. Right, let's uh, go this way. Which is behind here. That's pretty cool. There are some more thistles here. I'm going to pick those up. They're not very heavy. There's another spawner ahead. I might avoid this one. Although this is the best time to do it. This time of day. No, there's a brute over there. Right, now there is a river here. This could be what we need for the... Tin. Yeah, we should see tin along river as well. This is a lovely area. Look at this. Very pretty. Now, if we can just get some peace and quiet and pick up a bit of tin, I will be very happy. Right, how are we doing for weight? I've got stuff I could drop if I need to. We're doing really well. Don't eat anything. Okay. Um, is that tin? That is. Seems that we've drawn attention. They're coming through the water at me. That's hilarious. Okay. Let's wander around. We've got some mushrooms. You're going to come out of the water at me. Oh, I need the pike. I need the pike. Come back. That's hilarious. Look at the fish. This is a good fishing point. I should have been a bit quicker there or I would have got myself a fish. Is that tin? That's stone. Okay, we'll just run around here a little bit and then we'll have to head home. Because I'd love to get this um, axe. Wow, lots of tin here. Uh, I'm going to mark this on the map. This is perfect. And it's not too far. Right, let's uh, get what we can and we'll head back. I don't know how much we can carry. I don't feel rested. I imagine not. Uh, 266, we can grab a bit more. Two ninety. That's probably it, but let's see if we just we can just get that one last piece. This is a lovely area. I really like this place. 298. Is there anything we're carrying we don't need? Nothing that's too heavy. Thistle. Carrot seeds. I think we should grab those carrot seeds. We've got space. Don't know if I've got any yet. Yeah, I must have. Okay. I'm going to have to run back now. Should we just map out the edge of this? Well, we've got a bit of stamina. I'm not going to get any more tin. And what's this? All kinds of interesting rocks. Lots of lovely detail around here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Nice area. That would be a really good place for a build, wouldn't it? 
Oh, we've got a uh, burial chamber. Is that two? I think that might be two burial chambers. I'm not going to mess with that now. And I saw... I saw there were mushrooms and I should have marked all that. There's a lot of mushrooms there. Let's put this on the on the map. So burial chamber times two. Um, yeah, we've definitely got to come back to this, this place here. And I think that's also a troll cave up there. And I hear skeletons. That's actually the uh, skelly cave. Okay, another burial chamber there. We'll ignore that for now. We've got to come back through here. It's a very uh, interesting place to come and explore. Yeah, we, we need to just get home now. I want to make the axe and then I want to come back and do more useful things while we're over in this area. Oh, another burial chamber with skeletons. Power's not ready, okay. Well, we'll grab thistles and we'll just keep running slowly. I, I know I should be getting the berries, but if I've got skeletons on me and I've got no stamina... Yeah. They are most definitely on me. Oh, they're fighting each other, which is kind of cool. We know over here should be fairly quiet. I'll come back for the bones and whatever they leave behind. Oh, I can't wait to explore down there. It looks so interesting. There's so much to look at. But we've got the tin we needed, so I'm going to run back home now, get this tin smelted. And then before we finish, hopefully we will be able to make the axe that I'm looking for. So I will see you in a moment. Good morning. Right, okay, we are ready. Uh, got to do a little bit more smelting and then grab the copper that we crafted. I think it's all done here, yep. Let's get the rest of this tin. Oh, we need to top this up with some coal. Oh gosh, okay. Wish we'd have done that overnight. I am encumbered. Thank you, game. 20, that's the max we can carry. Okay, let's drop that away. And we'll pop that tin in there. So we've got 10 copper here. And in the box, we've got 20. So that's good. Just waiting on this tin. I don't think there's anything we can really do here. The bees are quiet, aren't they? I don't like the rain, I guess. Oh, we've got three honey in each. I'll go around and pick that up then. Just while we're waiting for the uh, tin. I need to pick up a little bit more wood. Get that in the charcoal kiln. Yeah, we found some really good stuff in that area. I can't, cannot wait to go back there. Couple of burial chambers. Should be pretty interesting. Got some uh, coal going on here. Keep this filled up if I can. Okay, a bit of tin. Can put some more in maybe. I don't have any. Oh, it's in the box, isn't it? Yep. Let's grab two, I guess. Maybe three by the time I'm done. One, two, and maybe one more in a second. We could probably do with a couple of these. I need some resin. Grab four resin. I've been around and filled up all of the other torches around the place. It looks pretty good. Oh, let's put that honey away. We're going to need a whole new box for honey. Wait, where was this torch? Here it is. Another tin. And there we go. That was the last we needed. And you need three coal. I'll just grab some. I don't want to be carrying too much. Okay, let's get back inside and see what we can now craft. We are wet and miserable, I imagine. Uh, we can definitely uh, craft up some more brass. 
bronze even. I keep saying brass. So that's 10. And I don't know how much we need for the axe. Let's have a quick look. Bronze axe needs eight. And four wood and two leather scraps. I bet you I don't have any wood. Let me... There's a couple of trees somewhere I was going to chop. Or that were lying around somewhere. I could just pick up some wood off the these branches I guess but this this is what I want to be able to cut which we should be able to do soon what a miserable day anyway let's just chop something quick and easy yes one of these will do don't want to deforest the whole area around the base but we're gonna need some wood fuel in the uh, the charcoal kiln oh my god oh hello yeah you weren't uh, you weren't happy about that were you uh let's just do this one stump there we go i'll leave that tree we'll go we'll come back for that later too much to do Right, let's see what is done. Should be everything now. A bit more tin here, okay. Let's grab a stack. Nice, that's everything I think now, finally. We do have, of course, some copper left in the uh, forward operating base, I think. If I remember correctly. Okay, we were crafting something. Let's have a look. Yes, we need brass, bronzed, tin, whatever. Scraps, that was it. We needed scraps. I'm carrying way too much, but let's get this crafted. So we need the bronze axe. Let's get that done. Awesome. Oh, that's going to be so good. Now, what do we need for... Ooh, that might be the hammer. We need the cauldron. I would really like the, the cauldron. Tin. We only need tin for that. We can't put it there while we've got that there. Oh, that's okay. I am going to destroy that, that, and that will get another um cooking area sorted very soon but for now I want the cauldron we need better food so there we go we can now make boar jerky and some other things meads queen's jam that's all going to be very useful for us right let's pick up this wood I know I'm too heavy won't make you walk very far Let's stop, dump off the uh, bronze. And um, we've run out of tin completely. We've got some copper though. And there is our lovely bronze axe. That's awesome. That's going to be so much easier to work with. What do we need to upgrade that bronze axe? We need four more bronze. That's what I'm going to work on. I'm going to try and get this bronze axe up to a decent level, I think, next. What else do we want to craft? Oh, the cultivator. Cool wood and five bronze. Okay, we've definitely not got any left, have we? On chest. We've got two bronze. Okay. Well, that's better than none. Um, something we can definitely uh, work towards. I'm going to put... We've got 35 cool wood. That's not too bad. I'm going to put everything away and I think that's where we're going to wrap this one up. I've had a great time today. I cannot wait to go and explore that area that we ran through quickly. That does look like a, a nice fun location. Let me put this axe away. The resin. And the stuff's still going. Is that just a... Uh... Oh, could we? Do we have enough? 
Ooh, hang on. Let me see. Let me see. We've got six. Ooh, we might have enough. What did I want to make the cultivator? If we could get some carrots on the go. We might have enough here. Let me have a quick look again. So we'll need five. Yes, we can. I'm going to make the cultivator. Uh, which is five cord. Awesome. This is going to be so good. I can get an actual farm on the go. Let's get that crafted. Cultivator. Nice. Now we can actually um, plant some carrots. And uh, trees by the look of it as well. Awesome. Uh, do I want to put normal wood in there? I guess I can. Just a little bit. And let's put this away. So we need more tin. We need that copper. We'll head back to that um, location that we've almost got that completely mined out. Just needs breaking up into chunks. Um, I'm going to go and plant some carrot seeds, I think. I'm going to drop off my pickaxes here and grab the carrot seeds. Go and plant a garden. And uh, I will see you again in the next one. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.